Hey everyone, Tom here. My wife Caitlin's behind the camera. We travel full time in an RV and we thought that we would show you guys something new that we think is pretty cool. This is the Montana 3820 FK and the FK stands for front kitchen. It's a fifth wheel model and most fifth wheels have either the kitchen in the center or the back. This one's got it up front and it's the first model that we've seen like this. So let's take a look. So I don't know what happened here. We got hit by some funky electromagnetic pulse or something and it killed our video and audio. We were able to recover the video, however the audio was goner. So what I'm gonna do here is bring in a funky backing track and I'm gonna narrate over the video. First impression here walking into this RV, this living space felt kind of like some toy haulers I've been in where the living space is in the center with the kitchen slightly to the forward. However, this living space was considerably larger as the kitchen is all the way forward in this RV, which is a very unique design. As you can see, the kitchen is elevated up a few steps and sits over the bed of the truck as well, and there is one slide on the right-hand side that you can see there. This particular model included a propane electric fridge, the, uh, the stove there, and then the sink, which is, uh, sits towards the back of the kitchen, which is neat because it looks over the living space so that if you're entertaining or whatnot, you can be interacting with your guests. And you're also looking right at the TV, so if you're washing dishes or whatnot, you can still be looking at the TV, which some of you probably enjoy. I like where they put the location of the sink because most likely the drainage goes straight down to the tank so you have short piping runs. All the way forward you have a dinette area and the front window which they're adding to a lot of fifth wheels these days and the benefit of the front window is that you can see forward. It's a lot of a drawback to a lot of fifth wheels is that they don't have the big window up front like class A's. Uh, I was looking at this window it actually looks like a real glass like an automotive glass which is uh, really important for having it on the front where it's gonna take an impact from uh, driving down the road. A drawback to the front window up front is that there's going to be a lot of sunlight coming in it so there's going to be another source for heat so you're going to want to be able to put something reflective in there and then also in the cold it's going to let a lot of heat out. Also you're probably going to have to clean the thing which is going to be difficult to get at because bugs are definitely going to smack all over the front of it. My opinion of this kitchen is it was probably pretty functional and as it's a dedicated space offers more area than you'd get in most conventional designs. Moving towards the back of this rig down the hallway, there is a second door in the back, which is probably pretty nice because this is a long 40-foot rig. The bathroom is accessed off of this hallway as well. I did like that how this door opened. It hinges like so, so that it does not take up the entire space of the hallway, and you can still get by the door even when it's open. The bathroom is a pretty standard design that you'd find with uh, a lot of rear bedroom models or front kitchen models, uh, but overall it seemed pretty nice. As we move towards the back of the rig where the bedroom is located, you'll see that the left-hand side is all closet and that is a slide and the bed is on a slide as well. So you have opposing slides here. I don't know if you'd be able to access the bedroom when these slides are in. That's a big thing for us, being able to access it, you know, when you're parked somewhere overnight, you don't wanna put the slides out, uh, but it does provide a lot of space in the bedroom. There is plenty of space on the slide for uh, storage. On the bedside, there was more storage, as you can see there. It looked like there was maybe a pass-through under the shower area, I'm not quite sure. And then there is a uh, sliding door for accessing the bedroom. Looking forward down this hallway, I, I almost wonder now that I'm looking at it, if that, uh, that main slide in the living area comes in and probably blocks the hallway as well. That's probably a lot of the reason for the rear door for uh, emergency access when the slides are in. This rig didn't have very many light switches because it's all digitally controlled. I don't know if you use your phone or whatnot to control this. I'm not real familiar with that, but uh, as you see there, it has the little electronic screen for controlling all of your lighting, and I think it also had your holding tank capacities and everything on it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the outside now. So this is your front storage area. It is considerably smaller than you would find in uh, most standard fifth wheel models. It did have the standard 30 pound propane tanks, one on either side, but it looks like there was plenty of headspace that you could put larger, say 40 pound tanks on either side as well. This model had a generator prep, so you could easily add a generator to it, or it provides more storage if you're not using it for a generator. The next compartment over is the battery compartment. It looks like there's more space up over the generator compartment. You could probably remove that whole generator pocket if you're not going to actually install a generator. 
On this side, the little small black door there is going to be your automatic level control. The door to the right of that is the second propane tank, and this is the pass-through area and your water hookup compartment. This unit did have dual pane seamless windows, which are very nice for helping with heat and also providing a considerably quieter environment inside the rig. The slides are hydraulically driven, or at least this one was, which uh, I think is probably one of the more robust slide mechanisms. This unit was also sitting on Goodyear G-rated tires, which I think are excellent tires for uh, towing a larger rig like this, and also had the Moride suspension system, uh, rubber dampening suspension system on it. This pass-through area here is uh, actually under the bed storage because the bed is on a slide and um, it looks like you could put large larger things in this compartment I don't know if you could get at them from under the bed I don't know if the bed lifted up but you can get them from the outside the rear end of this rig had a nice solid fiberglass cap on it uh, and the wireless backup camera also the electrical hooked up on the very back of this rig we're looking at the rear door here. I noticed that it has a shade integrated into the window of the door, which is really nice because you can have a clear window so you can see who's at the door, but also be able to close it at night. Well, that about wraps up our quick walkthrough of the Montana 3820FK front kitchen fifth wheel. We thought this was a really neat layout. We hadn't been through one of these before. We were able to see this at Holland RV in Palm Desert, California. So thanks to them for letting us take a look at it. Thanks for watching. We occasionally like to walk through unique RVs like this. So be sure to subscribe to our Morton's on the Move channel for future RV tours.